My name is Gus. I live in a bus. I travel to take pictures of beautiful people, beautiful places, and I share my experiences with you. So let's go. Morning to the sound of songbirds, crows, and uh, some rushing water from the river down below. It's a beautiful day, other than the fact that it is incredibly cloudy and was probably raining early this morning. These are the people that came early the day before for the uh, camp out that I'm organizing. And these are the people who were here, just happened to be here in the same spot. Good morning from Seton Lake. Just beneath, or just down the hill from most campsites is that river, and there's nice trails all along the river's edge, with a warning, hydroelectric operations upstream may cause water in Cheyush Creek to rise rapidly without warning. So I came down to uh, check out the creek because I could hear it, but I hadn't seen it. I didn't come down here yesterday afternoon. I didn't really explore much. I just met with the other camp, other people camping with us, and we kind of hung around and had a good time. So this is what the woodland looks like around here. The campsites are kind of typical of what we do in BC, which is a uh, uh, for each camper or whatever, a table and a uh, fire so pit. A typical campsite would look just like this one here with room for a camper, trailer, whatever it might be. And there's another campsite over there. There's still a lot of vacant campsites, a lot of room for people to come and hang out with us, but at the uh, expense of our personal privacy we've kind of organized in the overflow parking lot and we do that simply because we want to be together for campfires and stuff so we're just over here this uh, uh, from that silver truck with a with a trailer which is at the end of the line silver truck and trailer and my bus and this camper van. The sun's peeking through the clouds and uh, I put out a chair and another chair and we're wave at me and we've got a uh, few camp a few the, the trailer, a camper, another camper over there and I'm gonna be leaving to go and make some video.
So we get out of the bus and we have a van life photo. <laughs> exactly what everybody wants on Instagram. Got to get it focused. So I've been strolling on the beaches in California and uh, in Van BC and I've been to the deserts and look at this place. This is like uh, almost a glacier fed, it is a glacier fed lake, nice and beautiful and green, but today we're stuck with clouds. So I'll have to come back tomorrow or the next day when it's sunny and show you what this place really looks like. Don't get me wrong, it really looks beautiful even on a cloudy day. Just incredible. Postcard photos. Uh, the beach is actually just gravel and stuff. It's a nice gravel, almost sandy enough. It's certainly nice enough to go swimming. And a lot of people will use these facilities to go canoeing, etc. So it's an incredibly beautiful place. So I'm making this video to make you jealous. Not really. I'm making the video in order to invite people who didn't really know where we were and what we're doing to the R event. The purpose of the event is to enjoy a beautiful spot like this and have a great time together. Uh, most of us are independent. We don't really go around trying to find other people to go camping with because we, every day we camp by ourselves. But because we're independent, we essentially have almost no voice. Society looks at us like we're homeless instead of looking at us like we have a pocketbook of, I mean not a pocketbook, but a wallet full of money to spend in their town. So an awful lot of little towns ask us to leave, but in reality we're a huge group of people, huge number of people, and these meetups are intended to provide a count, not a, an exact count, but to demonstrate how many people can be visiting a town on a basically short notice. So we're gonna, I'm gonna set up another meetup in the next off season, which is in September. And ideally, instead of 25 to 40 or something like that, which is who's, how many are gonna come this time, I expect to be able to produce about 100 people visiting a nice spot like this in the fall. And then perhaps next summer or next spring, like very late spring, like we're doing now, not just in BC, but maybe down into Washington, we'll be able to attract about a hundred people. And then by one year from now, I expect there to be more than a hundred at our, these meetups. And when we have hundreds of people meeting together peacefully and nicely together in uh, beautiful environments, We'll be able to visit any town in my province or any of the small towns in Washington. There's, I'm talking about real small towns, small towns that whose financial well-being will be greatly increased by having one or two hundred people visit for a week. I'm going to drive in from the highway to show everybody where we're camped at and speed this up so it's over with quickly. If you come straight in off the highway, you'll see Badge's trailer. You carry on to the left and then make the first turn to the right you can possibly turn on.
and then turn into the overflow parking and you'll see us park there on the right.